What's good YouTube? It's your girl Bofina1, bringing you guys in another YouTube video. So many of you know about Roblox as a popular kids video game platform, and they are trying to reduce the exposure to sexual material. Half of the 30 million users are under the age of 13 and has made it so certain words are not able to be said. So pretty much the um, developers have made it so you can't say this word, you can't say that word. I would assume it's bleeped out. I mean, I don't personally play Roblox, but I know a lot of kid-friendly games that they do have an open chat. They do tend to do things like this. So Roblox is not only a site that allows for users to create, but also emulate real life, such as meeting at a cafe which went south as there were reports of some developers had created condo games that involved characters that meet up for simulated sex or in sexual situations. Roblox made a statement saying, in quotes, while we have dedicated technologies and trained human monitor staff that can detect and remove sexual content involving children, there have been instances where such content has been uploaded, close quotes. And as anything in life, people will always find a way around something if that's what they really want to do. Unfortunately, if the parents do not have these discussions with their kids of what they should and should not be doing, this is how kids get trapped into talking to these predators. So, you know, a lot of this has to do with as a parent, you monitor your child. A lot of the kids that are on this game, you know, I don't know, probably in grammar school, and there should be a level of monitoring. Like, your child shouldn't be playing this game probably late at night. Your child shouldn't be playing this game all the time. Your child probably shouldn't be playing this game without being monitored by a parent or, you know. So, at the same time, with anything, there's always going to be loopholes to certain things, but there also needs to be open-ended dialogue, in my opinion, when it comes to you know, having these sites where you can openly chat with people. You know, there might even be a setting, I'm not sure if Roblox has this, where there's only um, pre-communicated, like, sayings that the character can say, meaning that your child cannot type in and say, hey, what's up, or like, hi, or, or you know, where do you live? Like, they can't say that. It's, it's predetermined sentences or questions or whatever the case is. And if that is the case, that's something that, you know, as a parent, you should be monitoring. Like I said, all this has to do with parenting because in any kid's site you like I remember Toontown was a big thing Penguin, there we go Club Penguin was the site that everyone used to use there was a, there were predators on there like there, there's been predators on any child website that's been out for however long it is this is nothing new but like I said it's discussions that you have to have with your child to know hey I shouldn't be doing this like for example if someone comes up to me and they mess me saying hey I was when I was a kid you know um, can I get your number where do you live I'm going to say back, I'm not telling you that's none of your business. And they keep persisting, I'm going to block them, you know. But those are conversations that my parents had with me to let me know that, hey, people shouldn't be asking you about this. People shouldn't be talking about this. Um, it's, no, it's no one's business. People shouldn't be giving you their number. You shouldn't be giving them your number, et cetera. So these are conversations that I think at the same time, um, that's kind of the problem with, I think, and I, I feel like an old person saying this, but like this generation, which is true, like, the parents and the kids, everyone's so glued to their phones, everyone's so glued to, to the TV, they're so glued to social media that no one really knows how to interact with people or how to be social or how to discuss these type of issues when they arise. Um, because I think if they were talked about, you wouldn't have, and it's crazy because you'll have some of these kids that, that get into these problems and their parents are probably sitting right next to them. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, you need to have these conversations. So let me know your guys' thoughts about Roblox and, you know, what they're trying to do, your thoughts on the company, your thoughts on just maybe how stuff is set up. So let me know down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll chat with you later. Peace, Fun Army.